So this is our Mazama layout on the 170 Sprinter, which means that we can seat and sleep four people. And you can do that in a couple different ways. And we're gonna show you the lift bed option here. So starting on the exterior, we've got the Lagoon table. So we've got this actually mounted to a regular Lagoon table base here at the door. Um, what's nice is we can actually take this off. We can move it to um, the B pillar or we can move it to the rear of the van so it works with the benches. As far as seating goes, we've got four Shillman seats in here. So what we did is we took the JMG seat base. Now this is a swivel base, so you can actually spin these guys around if you want to and enjoy the view. We've taken that JMG seat base and we've mounted a Shielman seat with their adapter plate. And then we took in the front and we mounted two Shieldmans as well. So we have nice matching brown uh, seats all the way around that are very comfortable. On the driver's side, we've got some nice upper cabinets with a beveled edge so that you're not gonna hit your head and cut your head on them. We've got all of our water on one side because if you have water lines going up over the ceiling like some of the off-the-shelf RVs, then it has a tendency to break when it freezes and then you have water that you can't access that's running down your walls. So we keep our sink and our shower and our water tank all on the same side to prevent that. At the sink, we've got some nice black fixtures um, a little soap dispenser because I hate having to carry a soap bottle around and have it fly all around your sink as you're traveling. And then one of my favorite features, we actually have this cup wash station. So you can quickly go from coffee to wine. One little handy tip is to use a chainmail sponge. These are actually made for uh, cast iron pans. So these things are great. They're antibacterial. They rinse off really easily. They don't scratch anything and they accept soap and suds up just fine. So great van life tip. You never have a smelly sponge floating around in your sink. All right, coming over here to the shower. So this is a 32 by 24 shower. We've got a Thetford toilet in here, but we can do it with a Laveo dry flush um, or larger cassette style toilets. We've got our soap dispenser in here because again, I don't like having bottles of soap flying around. And then we actually have our shower um, clipped in to these little clips so that this isn't rattling around while you're driving. And then finally, we have the Nautilus door. So nice self-cleaning door, commonly used in RVs and in camper vans, um, nice and lightweight, it doesn't rattle, it's a really great system. On this side, we have our induction cooktop, we've got some more over cab storage, we've got our silverware all organized, um, we actually offer this as part of our camp ready package, so people can have, you know, a nice matching set of Damascus knives and some nice silverware. Uh, more storage down here. We've got the extra large fridge, which right now has all drinks in it because we're just traveling around on some shorter trips. And then up here, this is a super fun part. So this bed is a lift bed. So it's all electric, 12 volt. You can just lower it to create two bunks, or you can raise it up to free up your seating area. So if we were to move these panels over, we can slide these cushions in and create our second bunk. So you can seat and sleep four people. And then with those opened up, you can fit two bikes underneath, or you can seat eight people. So we'll bring that all the way up. And there's plenty of height to be able to sit. Um, if you're traveling 
you know, these don't have seat belts, but people 18 and older in most states can sit in them legally. Um, but it's a great place to hang out, have lunch when you're at the ski hill. Um, you've got those lagoon table mounts that I mentioned, so you can have two tables back here. And uh, my favorite part about it is it has the heated floor. So leave your boots outside or leave your boots at the front, and then everyone has nice warm toes um, while they're having lunch at the ski hill. The lower bunk has reading lights and USB ports. So you don't have to worry about the kids not having a way to charge their phones. And all of our utilities are housed in here. This van has 915 amp hours of lithium batteries on this side. And it has 30 gallons of fresh water on this side. Um, that's all heated with the aqua hot system. So you can see that here. We have our air heat, interior heat, and our floor heat. You can see our floor is nice and warm right now. And then you can run it off diesel or off electric. Um, electric is usually only used when you're plugged into shore power. Up here, we have our power system. So we've got, uh, again, a 915 amp hour battery bank with lithionics batteries. Um, you can see our fresh water and wastewater readouts here. Um, AC loads, solar, and our battery percentage. And then down here, we've got our custom switch panel so we can turn on our water pump and our Wi-Fi um, and all of our lighting here. This Wi-Fi button actually activates Starlink. So we have our Starlink flat mounted up in the roof box and all you have to do is push that button to activate. Our overhead lights are on two zones. So you have your rear zone, which is mostly covered by the bed right now, and your front zone. So if you want to take a nap and you only want to have lights in the front, people are playing cards up here, then you can turn off that rear zone and you can even just dim the front zone if you want to. So you just hold that button down to dim. This van is equipped with a Nomadic AC unit. So we've got the Nomadic X3 in the back. Um, that's a super high efficiency DC 12 volt um, unit. So we can run that for about 15 hours on high in this van um, and about 25 hours on eco. So lots of cooling just from the battery alone. It also has a secondary alternator um, that charges the van in about three hours to go from zero to full. All right, coming around to this side, we have our water fill here. So this goes to a 30 gallon water tank. We've got our shore power there, which is a smart plug. It's the safest way to plug in your van. We also have our new product from Alpine Vanworks. It's called the Alpaca Plate. So these are a great way to store your max tracks or your shovel, axe, anything like that. Instead of putting it on the Sherpas on the back doors and taking up that valuable real estate or putting them up on the roof rack, now you can mount them to the side of your van and if you're thinking, oh, I don't want to drill into my van, don't worry. These are actually bolted into the channel on the top of the van, and then they magnetize to the side of the van. Those magnets are covered in rubber, so they're not gonna scratch your van. And um, they are littered with different ways to mount whatever you want to do up here. So on this side, we have the Max Tracks with the Max Tracks mounting pins. Super easy to remove. And on the other side, we've got our shovel and axe, and we're using what's called a quick fist. These just pop off, and then you can remove it. Underneath the van, we have a 45 gallon fuel tank from s &B Filters. That tucks in here really nicely. It doesn't uh, you know, require any transfers or anything like that. Everything works the same as factory. Your gas gauge works normally. The only difference is that if it says you have 200 miles of range, you actually have about 400 miles of range because it's almost double. This is actually a surf hook. So we're gonna have some hooks that go on here. This pole is just kind of a placeholder until we get those. It's a new product from Flatline Vanco that they're gonna be producing and we don't have them yet, so stay tuned for that. 
So up here on the roof rack, this is the Safari rack from Tanner Manufacturing, um, Tanner Rack up in Seattle. We've got some prototype boxes up here. These are actually the Pelican Vault 700. And we found these solar panels that fit perfectly on the top of them. So we've been testing that out. You can see we've been going through some brush and these have been getting a little bit scraped up, but there's no actual damage to the panel. This one does not have a solar panel on it because it has our Starlink. So this is always flat mounted up here, always working. We had about 80 megabits per second while we were driving down the road. Um, no need to get the Starlink uh, in motion. You can just get the regular Starlink roam. Now we have our max air vent off center. That way we have more space up here. That leaves this aisle way open. And these can actually be used as seats. And the last thing that we've got up here is our nomadic AC. We have this covered up with a roof rack deck. That way we can still use all that space, stand on top of it, hang out, do whatever you want, and look at the view. All right, well, this is our Mazama layout. This is our new marketing van. You'll see it at the shows this year. Um, come see it, come hang out, and we'll see you later.